Hi everyone, <clears throat> I'm Adam Sinop from PC Support. If you've read the introduction today, what we're going to do is we're going to show you very quickly how to download Skype and install it, and then later on we're going to show you how to manipulate it and add your friends and things like that. So what I want you to do now, if, you're, if you want to follow along with this tutorial or if you want to do it later, um, if you want to go to google.co.uk or google.com, um, we're just going to type in Skype. Okay. Now you just want to pick the first option that comes up, and it, if you if you're using Google, it'll be the very top option. That anybody else, you just want to go to www.skype.com. Okay. And we're just going to go to their website, and what we'll do is we'll uh, download the program, and we'll show you how to install it. So. I'm just wait for my internet connection to speed up a little bit. It's a bit slow today. Right at the very top, you can see Home, Download, Skype Credit, and a few other things. What we're going to do is we're just going to click Download. That's where we want to do it. That's essentially what we want to do. Okay. Now we'll get. It should automatically download it. If it doesn't, you can see a link. You know, I'm moving the mouse around it, and you can see start download again. And sometimes it won't download. 90% 90, 90 of people it will, but there will be a few people it won't start. So just click that there. What we're going to do is it tells you to click run. Ignore that. It's 22.9 megabytes. If anything goes wrong, you can always start the download again. Um, it's a lot easier to just to click save rather than run. So we're just going to click save, and we're going to put it on the desktop. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, for those of you out there who are running a different kind of broadband service, it might take a little bit longer. Um, just pause this, and wait for you to wait, wait for yourselves to catch up. Once it happens, if you haven't clicked the close this dialog box when download completes, you should have a little window that pops up. If not, just go onto your desktop and you should find it. Click run. It'll double check with you whether you actually do want to run want to run it, whether it's a virus or not. You know, you don't want to be installing dodgy software on your PC, so it is double checking. It's uh, one of the very few security features that Internet Explorer 6 does have. Now, I'm assuming you're all English language speakers. If not, I know there are going to be a few out there who are going to speak something else. Maybe you're Romanian or you speak Hungarian or, or whatever, but um, just click English. And then yes, you've or your language, and then yes, you've read the privacy agreement and the end user license. Nobody ever does read it. Just assume that you agree with it. It's all very standard stuff. Just click install. Generally, when you're going to install something, you, you can pretty much switch off. People people do worry a little bit when they're installing software, and it, you've got to use your common sense when you're downloading something. You know, if, if it's a virus or something, sometimes they're not too not too clear, but. You can generally just get away with positive answers. Anything positive and just accept the default. If anything does crop up and you're a bit unsure, just read through the documentation or any of the lists on the front and it should be quite clear. Okay, so this is nearly finished now. We're just waiting for it to install all the uh, files onto the computer. And it's only a small little program, so it shouldn't take too long. He says as he waits until the silence gets filled. Okay. I don't know if anybody can notice that at the top, but that's the. Um, it's actually putting stuff into the registry. Okay. Now, oops. There we go. So you get your. Uh, once it's finished, you've got your little box there, and it pops up. It says Start Skype. Okay, so click Start Skype. Just minimize that now while we wait for Skype to open. Now I'm going to choose my name. Okay, so I'm Adam Sinot. Okay, and we're going to have, in fact, let's have it as PC support. Okay, and we'll have pc.support.services. And we'll have a password that I'm going to keep to myself. Um,
and then you just click yes I have read and I accept the end user license agreement so you click that there give it a valid email address for those of you out there you can get me on info at pconsupport.co.uk and we're going to tell it that I'm in Liverpool for those of you out there that are in on the Whittle or Liverpool um, or in the Liverpool area you want to you want to put Liverpool if you're in Chester North Wales you might want to think about putting Wrexham or uh, Chester or maybe even Warrington anywhere else just pick a city that's nearest to yourself not everybody, not every city is going to be relevant, but uh, pick, pick one that you think is suitable. So when it says uh, sign me in when Skype starts, make sure that that's ticked and we're going to click sign in. Just takes a second for it to register on the, on the network. And when you do sign in, you'll notice a little sound that starts up. Okay. Now we've actually got a guide that pops up, and for those of you feeling brave, just and uh, see if you can do it yourself. It's always handy just to um, try it yourself because sometimes you learn you learn things in a different way, and it can be quite good. But you, we can just skip this for now. Uh, those of you can read it at a later date, but we're going to actually cover all this later on. So we're just going to click next, 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 and finish. And there we go. We've installed Skype. So if you check. The next, um, the next jump below, and you'll be, you'll see us, you'll see the next video in the series, and it'll tell you how we're going to actually manipulate Skype. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye.